So in this problem, we have three particles, A, B, and C, lying on a horizontal line in that order. So we have three particles, A, B, and C. Their masses are five kilos, three kilos, and one kilo, respectively. Initially, A is travelling towards B with a speed of three metres per second. And both B and C are initially stationary. After A collides with B, it continues in the same direction at 0.2 metres per second. After B collides with C, it continues in the same direction at 0.4 metres per second. Find the speed of C after its collision with B. OK, so the thing about this problem is that we've got the three particles and there are several stages to it. So the first stage is that A and B are going to collide. So I'm going to ignore the fact that I've got C there. OK, and I'm just going to look at this being the before. And now let's look at what happens afterwards to particles A and B. Now we know that um, after A collides with B, it continues in the same direction at 0.2 meters per second. So I need to find the speed of B. So let's call that U meters per second. So using the conservation of linear momentum, we must have 5 times 3 plus 3 times 0, so that's the total momentum beforehand, must be equal to 5 times 0.2 plus 3 times u. So 5 times 3, then I need to take away 5 lots of 0.2 and then divide through by 3. So that would be uh, 14 thirds. So that will be the speed of U, oh, sorry, of B uh, after the collision. OK, so we've got that. Then our next stage is that particle B is travelling towards particle C. So particle B is travelling to the right at 14 thirds metres per second. Particle C is stationary. Now this is 3 kilos and this is 1 kilo. So we've got particle B and particle C. Now particle B, after B collides with C, it continues in the same direction at 0.4 metres per second. So this is now down to 0.4 metres per second. And particle C is going to be travelling to the right. Let's call that V metres per second. So that's 3 kilos and 1 kilo. So we can use the conservation of linear momentum again. We will have 3 times 14 thirds plus 1 times 0 is going to be equal to 3 times 0.4 plus 1 times V. So uh, that's just going to be 14. Take away 3 lots of 0.4, and that's 64 over 5. So 12.8 metres per second. So that is the speed of C after its collision with B.